Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Recently I went into Primark and I actually had a very successful shopping trip. So I thought that I would save some of the items and just kind of show you what I bought. Primark hauls are probably the main thing I watch because I love seeing what people have bought recently so I can keep my eye out for those things in the shop anyway. I don't know if anyone else is the same but I have to get my head in the zone to go into Primark. I'm from Bristol and I'm very very fortunate to have a very good Primark here. It's like one, two, three, four, four? Was it five? One, two. I think four story Primark. Without further ado, oh just for reference before we get started, personally in Primark I pick up a lot of things which are not my actual dress size. So if that confuses anyone as we're going through, I fall between a size 8 to 10 and I'm 5 foot 7 height wise for reference as well. We'll need the receipt because I have actually used slash worn some of the items already. Shock. Uh, would it even be a haul if you haven't already worn the entirety of said haul? Daisy. Okay, I have my receipt. I spent oh, £160 <laughs> in Primark. I wasn't expecting to come away with that much, but I spent £160 and apparently bought 39 items. So, saddle up, boys and girls. You might need a drink for this one. I want about like a non alcoholic one. It's not going to be that bad, okay? I'll get started with what I'm actually wearing. So, this is found this on the very top floor in the like pajama loungewear um section so they did have matching trousers for this but it's like a cream waffle like soft knit thin jumper um what size did i get this in oh i didn't think about this did i let's have a look i got this in a large um just so you can have a little look see what the size is like on me it's quite nice and baggy it did have matching like kind of like jogger legging trousers to go with this which were really nice and i would have picked them up if they didn't have any smaller sizes i knew that i could get a larger top but unfortunately i wouldn't have been able to fit into the bottoms yeah i got this one this one was i think it was like eight pounds this was eight pounds and it is called a super soft waffle top and i can confirm it is super soft so yeah um really like this one just wish i could have got the matching set and they also had it in like a blue grey colour like think of like a you know like those blue french bulldogs it's like that sort of tone that was nice as well but i just preferred the white so I went for the white one so next i have a jumper i have already worn this to death so sorry if it looks not in its best shape you know um but it's like a it's just a hoodie um inside the fleece is super super soft uh, it feels so high quality i cannot believe i picked this up in primark it's kind of like a creamy gray color with these little black specks in the bottom it's got like a toggle so you can pull it tighter to kind of cinch in a little bit at the waist um these are supposed to be cropped but i picked it up in a large they did only have three left when i was there a small and medium and a large so i went for the large um it was, it was the last one and i absolutely love it i've been chucking this on to pop to the shops <laughs> to go to the gym uh you name it i've been wearing it for everything basically but i would highly recommend seeing if they've got any others in the stores near you wherever you are i'm pretty sure this was also eight pounds let me have a look yep also eight pounds i mean honestly you would think that this is something i perhaps got on asos for 20 but in fact it's not um i've had lots of compliments on this jumper as well when i have worn it and yeah i just love it i love the uh natural tones i was very impressed with this primark I've done well next i bought a shirt this is a big khaki shirt and it is creased <laughs> Uh, to say the least but I have worn it and it's been screwed up in the bag just for the purposes of making sure I remember to show it in the haul please excuse the creases it's a big khaki oversized shirt um, 
say oversized i think it's meant to be slightly oversized but i bought it in a size 14 um i love it i've already worn it with like some black skinny trousers and just some boots um i think this is really nice i can wear this for work i can wear it outside of work as well again quality i'm just absolutely blown away with what they've got in primark at the moment this just feels like something you'd buy in zara this was 12 pounds i mean stop it primark right i bought the first bikini of the season in Primark. A lot of their stuff is already uh, spring and summer. And I thought, do you know what? I always do this every year before, when it hits summer, I'm like, oh my God, I need summer clothes. And I just start going on a mad dash for bargains. And I realized looking back on it, if I'd have just planned so much further ahead, I would have had better outfits basically. Um, so I'm not letting that stop me this year. I've decided just to pick up things as and when I see them if I like them. So even though I won't be getting into a bikini anytime soon, I can assure you of that, um, I did pick up a bikini. So this is the top. It's quite like a nice triangle top um, with just like a clip back. And I thought the back was quite nice as well because it's just kind of very, very basic and simple. And the bottoms are high-waisted. So they're high-waisted with this nice little belt detail on it as well and again the quality is just incredible so thick and stretchy and it really sucks you in um and this is very supportive as well if you know what i mean ladies we'll definitely be bringing this with me on my next holiday the top was six pounds and i got the top in a 10 and the bottoms were five pounds and i also got them in a 10 but yeah, you can obviously mix and match your top and your bottoms if you need different sizes. And they had loads left. Um, they, I was literally scrolling through Instagram today and I saw that they put this on one of their posts. So it might start going a little bit quicker now, but have a look. See if you've got anything. They had some lovely bikinis in there, actually. They had like, um, what's it called? You know those like crinkly bikinis? They had those in like nice blue colours and an orange colour as well, which were really nice. But I just didn't want to overdo it on the bikinis, you know? Didn't want to get too bikini happy. But £11 for a bikini that looks like it should be 30 Next, hairbrush. <sighs> Hairbrushes just... There must be a black uh, hole for hairbrushes in my house because I can never find one. So I went ahead, oh, just put myself in the eye there. I went ahead and got a nice big paddle brush. This was 90p. What else can I say? It's a hairbrush. And then today, so my mum went to Primark yesterday and today she came in, I've got a present for you. I was like, oh, what's that? And she was like, here you go, a hairbrush, which has actually got my hair on it. Oh, apologies. Thanks, mum. I already bought the exact same one the other day. So now, when I lose one of these, at least I've got a backup. Just to add to the spring summer shopping, um, I bought some shorts. Um, I've got some black ripped kind of mum shorts and bought these in a size 10 and they were £10. Um, I'll be honest with you, I haven't actually tried these on yet. I do like to try things on in Primark just because otherwise it's a waste of space. Some things look so good on the hanger, like a little skirt. Then you take it home, you try it on, and you can't even zip it up. Gives you a lot of time. If you can go around tactfully and take your eight items maximum into the changing rooms, you save yourself a lot of hassle if you don't like anything. But these are one of the things that didn't actually make it into the changing rooms with me. I need to try these on. I might have to do that after the video. Do I just do it now? This is very difficult. Yeah, I'll definitely be keeping these. Um, yeah, so I got these in a size 10. They were £10. Oh. I hate denim cutting into me when I'm sat down. So yeah, £10 for a pair of shorts. And I just thought, again, we're not messing around in 2019, you know? Spring, summer is coming. This is a message to you. Whoever needs to hear this, start looking for spring, summer clothes now. That holiday you've got planned, that festival you're going to, have you looked at any outfits yet? Have a look now, all right? Check out your local Primark. Hashtag not an ad. Some boring but necessary purchases. Self tan mitt. Oh, it's nice and reflective, isn't it? Fake tan mitt. Um, that was two pounds. Next to this standard fake tan mitt is this velvet thumb mitt, which I have already used. Can confirm it's incredible. 
revolutionary in fact and uh, this is three pounds fifty but the velvet just helps it your fake tan go on so much smoother than that foamy side of a basic fake tan mitt welcome to my fake tan mitt review channel would it even be a primark trip if you didn't pick up their one pound pants in every color under the sun i don't think so that's all we're gonna say on that matter I bought these trousers which i thought were really nice for work and they had loads of them as well so i think they're quite new in i picked up these they're like paper bag waist trousers and they've got a grid print on them which i thought was just lovely and they've got little rolled up hem at the bottom these were 13 pounds but great for the office i've tried these on um they're like a really lightweight fabric as well so definitely can carry you into like the warmer months but these are really flattering on i just thought with like maybe a basic plain black top just a nice easy outfit i like funky trousers because you don't really have to make an effort with the rest of you then do you i got these in a size 10 and they were 13 pounds might not last me forever but they'll do they'll do for the time being oh another little officey item that i bought was this little shirt how cute is that so it's supposed to be cropped um i did try an eight on and this bit was flapping open in the middle, you know, so you could see more than you bargained for. And they didn't have any 10, so I had to go up to a size 12. But it's actually lovely, and it's got like little, like the sleeves are like a flatter in length because they kind of cover all of this area here. And they're like a little bit frilly at the edges. And I just thought the buttons were lovely as well. Again, something that looks like you've got this in like Zara. And I got size 12, and it was £12. Oh. Another pair of pants escaped. Okay, look how beautiful these pyjamas are. So they were only £15 and honestly, Victoria's Secret do pyjamas like this for like 50 to £60. So it's basically like a blue silk shirt and it's got all this silver piping on it, on the pockets and on the cuffs of the arm as well. Absolutely beautiful. And then it's with a pair of long trousers. I don't normally do long trousers, um, I am more like to sleep in shorts but I think these are great for lounge around the house in, again they've got that nice little silver detail on the bottom. Um, I do have very long legs, my legs make up the most part of me to be honest, I am a 34 inch in my legs and these sit just below just kind of graze the top of my foot so uh, absolutely fine, any shorter girls you'll be good to go in these as well if you're a little bit taller than me you might have a bit of ankle bite or situation but we don't mind no one's judging you in your own home I did size up in these so i went for a medium which is a 12 to 14 but i just think that they're so snug um and yeah i really love them both of them both the top and the bottoms are a medium um in fact i love these so much that i also bought it in pink so i've got the satin pink pair of pajama bottoms again they've got that silver piping on them and um oh apparently the shirt's falling down the back of my chair this is the shirt they had loads left when i was there i remember i do this when i go around primark so i go around oh i like that i like that i like that i'll throw it all in the basket and then i'll go to like a very quiet section on the very top floor as i've worked my way up through the tower of primark Go to take myself to a very quiet section and I'll sit and I'll go through, add up how much my basket comes to, and then I'll see, oh, is that even worth it anymore or was that an impulse throw in the basket when I was on level one about 25 minutes ago. And you find that you're ditching a lot of things that you don't actually need. And also that's a really good time to work out what things you need to try on because some things you're fine with, like for example this, I was like, it fits over my top. You can try this on the shop floor. But because of like the eight maximum rule that they've got in Primark, if you've got things like dresses, skirts, um, anything like a bikini, if you need to try that on, um, that's a really good time to work out what eight items you can take in with you. Um, so yeah, the pajamas. What was the point I was trying to make? So yeah, I thought the pajamas. <laughs> I thought the pajamas said fifteen pound on the top, and I was like hang on the top alone is 15 pound like the shirt are you joking and then i went to look at the trousers and realized they didn't have a tag on them because they are part of a set for 15 pounds 
30 pounds i just got two pairs of satin pajamas for 30 pounds you can't even get one pair for that price in victoria's secret and they look like you just got them off the hanger at victoria's secret headquarters coming to a close end um another top i bought for spring summer i haven't tried this one on either but i thought it was so pretty and this was the first thing that i saw clothing wise when i came into the shop so it's like a little i don't know it looks a bit milkmaidy doesn't it but it's like a off the shoulder slightly you could wear it up there if you wanted to uh, very soft i believe that they call this cheesecloth don't quote me on that kind of fabric it's a little bit summery and floaty and frilly and just lovely and it was five pounds and that was in a size small shall i try this on quickly excuse the fact that i have got a black bra and i wouldn't really plan on wearing it with one uh, but just for the sake of quickly trying it on and then you can have it off the shoulder as well but yeah i do look slightly like a, a milkmaid or maybe a yodeler okay fantastic the hair's looking crazier than ever i bought a dress so I don't know why I'm only just cracking onto the animal print. I've always loved it but never felt brave enough to wear it and now all of a sudden everything I own is just animal print. I look like I could be in The Lion King as an extra somewhere a lot of the time now. Um, but I picked up this lovely little dress. It's kind of A-line. Um, it zips all the way down the front there. It doesn't look very shapely off on the hanger, but I promise on, it looks wonderful. It sits about here, so you've got no cleavage out, and it's a little bit tighter around like the hips, pulls one at the waist. Um, I'd wear like a little black turtleneck underneath this, or in summer, probably just wear it on its own with some trainers. And I got this in a size 12. I tried on the 10, a bit too squishy here for my liking uh i do like to breathe when i'm wearing clothes so yeah this was 13 pounds would highly recommend okay so i bought fake tan mitts but i also bought exfoliating gloves why are they gray contains charcoal extract so these were one pound fifty um i use these to scrub off my tan um so that i can put a fresh layer on if i need to but if you don't own a pair of exfoliating gloves then you are missing out because these are just a life saver um try and do it towards the end of your shower so that you're like the water's had enough time in contact with your body um and then just use these at the very end of your shower and give a big scrub um if you're not red as a tomato then you're not doing it right how have i managed to speak for about two minutes on exfoliating gloves i don't know but yeah pick some up if you're a fake tan wearer Got a lint roller um this is because we have one at my workplace and it's broken so i being the nice colleague i am um i decided to pick one up and it was only one pound fifty and it comes with a backup for when you run out did buy skincare bits in primark actually um i've already used quite a lot of them though so i mean this has been ripped off the bottom because I've already broken into it, but I just wanted to show you because I actually love these. These are like nose strips. Um, I also use them on my chin. Keep an eye out for these if you're in Primark. Um, they're a pound and you get four in each. And they're all individually sealed as well, so they all come in like their own little pouch. But I picked up two packs of these. My other pack is in the bathroom. I also picked up two face masks. So I had... A uh, little 90p face mask, it was in a purple pouch and it's one of those like bubbly ones so you put it on and then after a few minutes your like face is out here with bubbles. Um, it was alright, it was good novelty fun but it didn't actually do anything for my skin. And then there was another one this morning which was £2 which is pricey for Primark but I thought I'd give it a go. It looked quite sciencey on the front, it green one and it had like a little, what looks like a vial, is that what you'd call it? Like those little tubes with the big bit at the bottom like something you make potions in I had that on the front and it was like salicylic acid and something else and my skin's breaking out really badly at the moment i don't know why i'm trying to sort it out um but i thought that i would use that one because obviously salicylic acid kills like bacteria blackheads and everything it's a sheet mask as well so you just kind of put it on you don't need to wipe anything or fuss around at the sink obviously i've only put it on a matter of hours ago i will have to see if i actually did anything yeah i mean i'd like to try out more primark skincare if you want to me to see me like testing primark skincare or primark makeup then let me know and 
I'm sure I can whip something up for you. Sunglasses, because fail to prepare, prepare to fail, I say. These were three pounds, a couple of jewelry pieces to show you. I see a couple, um, I seem to only be able to find one of these. I literally had it right next to me and it's disappeared. But I've worn these, um, they're just cute little hoops and a little bit thicker as well um, than kind of your standard ones, a little bit smaller. Um, but I thought they were nice and I think these were about £1.50. Yes, these were £1.50. The little earrings that I got, these are so cute. It's a little selection of kind of lots of different mini hoops. It's like a, uh, a few little packs of mini hoops. Um, they're not fully all the way around. If you see, like they're kind of like an actual earring um, with a back, but from the front they look like they're a little hoop. I really like these because these are really, really good for day to day and they're just quite cute and dainty. And lastly, everything I have left is nail varnish. So, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. I did have a ninth, which was a black one, I think. I believe I had a black one as well, but I've already painted my nails using that. Why do you have so many nail varnishes, Daisy? I can hear you ask. It's because Prime might do the best nail varnish. This gel effect nail varnish is honestly incredible. Um, I find that it doesn't chip easily on me um i did use to like just the normal one and then once i tried the gel effect i was obsessed they're just a bit shinier it stays on a little bit longer i always get compliments on these and they're only a pound each so i've got white out which is just an all white one rouge which is red I'm sure we all know that one bubble gum which is like a hot pink sky which is a nice little blue obviously these are very inventive names i love it can you guess what this one's called Five pounds to whoever guesses in the comments. It's called Mint. Mint. This is blush, which is like a nice nude. They had loads of nudes, by the way. I had struggled not to pick them all up, um, but I picked this one, which was quite like an in-betweeny one of all of them. I don't really have a nude like that. Lilac, very inventive. And we also have another nude called Barely There. Um, so just so you can see these are slightly different so yes I mean I think there's a few things on here which I haven't spoken about so what's that 80 gram topped bar okay I bought a chocolate bar for Jesse which he's already eaten so I can't show that um, it's very rare for me to get a very good shopping haul from Primark so now that I actually did I was like I might as well share it I feel like my videos so far are very like haul heavy so um the next video that's going to go up is a video about anxiety because i actually suffer with generalized anxiety disorder gad for short and um i've got a few questions already that some people have sent me um over on instagram if you have any then please either comment them below in private then please drop me a dm on instagram um i'll pop my instagram handle on the screen again for you why am i holding all these i'll never say anybody's names or who's asked it or anything unless you ask me to basically yeah my next video going up is going to be like uh about my anxiety kind of my story i don't know like basically how i cope with it and the answers to the questions that you guys have sent me about anxiety as well whether you suffer with anxiety know someone who suffers or just don't understand it at all there's no question that's off limits honestly you could just send me anything you want to and um yeah i'll answer it because I'm a really open person, I'm not bothered. Um, but that'll be going up next week, hopefully. I just need to film that this week. Um, I have already filmed it already, but I didn't like the footage, so I'm just gonna scrap it and start all over again. Yeah, if you wanna add in any extra questions between now and then, then yeah, feel free. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching and for staying this far. Please hit the subscribe button on your way out. It really helps me out. If you've come here from the search bar, then hi, I'm Daisy. If you wanna see some videos, from somebody who likes spending a bit too much money on everything, then please stay. Nice to see you here. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!